Hello, hello. Um, I hope you guys are having a good rainy day on this Monday. Um, we, it, I was going to talk a little bit today. I was having some problems getting connected, so that's why I'm a little bit late today. That's why it's after 4.30, and I do apologize for that. Um, I was going to talk a little bit today about these. Chances are you probably got a packet that looks a lot like this for your final three weeks of remote learning. And the academic and the social emotional, those are great, but they're calling for a whole lot of rain this week. And it occurred to me that some of these physical activities, like the one that Hunter really wanted to do was make an outdoor. Well, we can't go outdoors, but that's gonna be all week long for the most part. They're calling for a whole lot of rain so could we make an obstacle course inside sure um there are different ways that you could do it um you could get different house boxes that you could use in your obstacle course get really creative um stuffed animals you could kind of weave in and out of them so yeah sure um there are ways that you could do an obstacle course inside but then that got me thinking what about whenever we need to get those wiggles out and burn off some energy and get some physical activity, but it's raining or the weather is not so great. What do we do? Well, there are lots of different ways that you can get physical exercise inside. So, um, one, of, one of the ways would be um, go noodle. If you have a resource where you can hook up to YouTube and get some uh, wiggles out using go noodle, that's an excellent resource. If your parents don't know, you can tell them about it. Have them look that up on YouTube. Um, another really great way, I'm sorry, I'm getting lots of texts right now. Um, another really great way to get some indoor exercise is um, you could run and play. Create a circuit for yourself where you jog or run as fast as you can in one spot for 20 or 30 seconds. And then switch to something else where you do some of the exercises that you learn. MPE like um, doing burpees or doing jumping jacks or some of those and those will also help if you're feeling stressed out or if you're angry angry that'll help get rid of some of that frustration and a lot of that anger and it'll help break up some of the lessons that you're doing too um, some other ways that you can get some physical exercise inside um, what about um, that's a really great game to play inside. It gets your heart rate up because you're trying to hurry and find a spot. So that's another a really great game that you can play inside. Um, some other ones are dancing, playing the game Freeze Dance. I don't know if you've ever played that, but my children really love it. Um, you could, if you've got a hula hoop or if you've got something where you can mark a circle in the floor, you could do a, a type of um, musical chairs where you don't actually have chairs, but you have circles. And you could do that. That's another fun game. Um, let's see, we have some other ones here, um, create a game using food bo cartons, boxes, and containers. You could absolutely do that inside. Um, practice dribbling a ball with each hand for five minutes. And by the way, this is first, the first grade one that Hunter got. Yours might look a little bit different, but I really want you to know that there are alternatives for getting those wiggles out, getting some PE in, um, getting some, some good exercise in even though it's raining and you're unable to go outside during this time. Um, you might find some exercises to do on TV. Sometimes there are some, some good fitness, um, fitness shows on TV. Those are other good ones that you can use. But I really, really like Freeze Dance. That's a game. It gets in um, learning how to take turns, um, learning how to follow rules. So it's really educational that way. Plus you're listening to some good music. You're moving, you're getting up and you're getting active even if you can't go outside. So those are some really good ways. Um, here's some that parents will like. Surprise your parents by cleaning your room. Yeah. Believe it or not, that's exercise. You're up and you're moving. Um, practice dribbling a ball with one hand for five minutes. You could dribble a ball inside. That's another good way to get some exercise. Even on those rainy days, I know um, it's kind of sad whenever we get up and we're like, oh, they're calling for rain all day long, but you can get active inside. So those, so there's that. An indoor scavenger hunt, that's perfect for this week. Um, let's see, which other ones do, that we have that I can come up with off the top of my head here? Because sometimes you gotta think on the fly, right? 
So let's see, we have here um, juggling. If you've got some grocery bags, um, juggling grocery bags, I don't know how many of you go to um, West Marion, but I know that I have actually worked as a sub before in Mr. Kelly's um, gym up here at West Marion, and he has the little scarves that he that he does juggling with with um, with a lot of the kids. You could absolutely do that with some grocery bags, and that way that means you're getting you're moving and you're building up that hand eye coordination. Build a fort with couch cushions and pillows. That's a perfect indoor um, fun physical exercise, a physical game. Make up a dance. Teach it to a parent or sibling. Dribble a soccer ball or any ball through obstacles. You could do that inside again. You could put down pillows, stuffed animals. Um, you could make up like some cones with some Legos if you're feeling really crafty. Um, toss a stuffed animal in the air and catch it 50 times. So those are lots of different ways that you can So the rain has put a damper on going outside. And I hope that it is raining, you were able to enjoy the beautiful weather that we had this past weekend. Um, so I think that might be all that I have for you today. So again, get some physical exercise, even if you can't go outside and I'm looking forward to those sunny days, just like you are. I hope you guys have a marvelous Monday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.